Oh my goodness, boys and girls of Facebook Street around the world, I'm here with gifts. Yes, gifts. Hmm. Let's see if I can find any of my little bag of tricks. Well, I search through my big bag of tricks. You know, I started this adventure a year ago, almost to the day where I started this Mad Sack radio show. Because I was tired of seeing all the posts all the time. All the posts I had to read were people were like, I don't own the content, I don't own the content. Well, there's laws about that stuff we're, we're going to be getting to eventually. But we could put a stop to all that nonsense. Yeah, I got some ideas. But, which takes me to my recent finding. <coughs> I've already located the serious fire needs to be tended to. I've done pretty much everything I can do on Facebook. And everybody that knows, <laughs> that's involved, already knows. So... All I need to do is sit back and fan the embers. Yeah. And wait for people to catch up. So I can enjoy myself. Let's play with, Re with uh, Rosie. <laughs> To Brooklyn, eh, Brooke? Yeah, where you been, dear? I was just getting ready to play. I was just telling everybody. Well, you, I'll tell you. I've been doing this for about a, for a year now, almost to the day, um, where I started doing this Mad Zach radio show because I got tired of all these people talking about how they don't have content. And here I'm sitting on tons of content trying to figure out how to get it out there. And I finally, you know, realized that I need to get past my vanity fears and issues and um, put myself out there to share my content because only I can share what I have to share in order to represent it and however it was meant to be. It's always best to hear the story from the author. Yeah, well, that's probably good, Brooklyn, but if you do spend any time here, you need to go back to see my f past shows from the past four or five days where I opened a ladder on the show, it all begins with opening the ladder with the money in it, addressing children. It says address to area. Just go back. You'll find out. It's very serious. Yes, I'm doing very well, Brooklyn. I'm still sober, of course. Yes, I'm representing for all people that they have the strength within them to do whatever they need to do. And that includes breaking free from the spell that they're under. Everyone in America, everyone in the world is under a spell induced by some very, very hard to get to people. And if you go back and start reviewing what I've been sharing, you'll find out. Let's play a little bit.
development all goes back <laughs> to the birth of radio yeah two-way communications and then monitoring the communications and the FCC regulations of part 15 it's all about part 15 in every electrical gadget literally you are being literally watched right now everything you do everything you say and if what this could, if this could all be proven, these people could be proved, could be held responsible for nationwide adult abuse, nationwide child abuse, nationwide endangerment, playing with people's minds, altering their behavior, altering their thinking patterns, altering what they do and what they say and how they act in, in the neighborhoods. Yes, and <laughs> that's where the birth of the idea of racism all stems from. <laughs> and it all goes back to the Dutch. Dutch publishing company, yes, the company VNU is being bought right now for $8.87 billion, fact, look it up on the internet, oh, Meds X are a big, big Scooby-Doo mystery, oh, yeah, I'm going to pull the mask off old man Jenkins, it's going to completely disrupt entire corporate America, the whole entire corporate world globally, this is a global thing, it's global. It's a world revolutionary war once the people become awakened from the trance that they're in. 
That's the hard part. And that's why the key to communicating to the masses is through the world of music. Fact. Yeah. Well, I get out a lot. I play a lot outside when I can. So let's play. I stumbled onto Willie Nelson, uh, All of Me, the song All of Me. I stumbled onto the song in my, in my, in my treasure trail, looking for the riches in the world of music, looking for the treasure. On my path in the trail, I've graduated levels and I'm getting to different levels in the game. And it all adds up to where I am today. I'm not trying to play anything particular. I'm just playing whatever my spirit is guiding me to. And I like where it's going. I like the sound of it. So I got, it starts with the F chord. It's all about the beginning. And the F chord is the beginning. And here's where you hear it. It goes, I don't think the C goes there though, but it starts off with the F, so it's all of me. my first rendition of my inspiration from all of me yeah yes it is awesome everybody loves that song it's one of the most famous of uh, uh, Willie Nelson songs and it reminds me of that beautiful movie with you know, Steve Martin and uh, what was the woman's name that played uh, Let's see which one she wants. She was rich and she wanted to put her spirit inside of something because she was going to die of terminal illness or something. I can't remember the details. But that very thought, movie like that, the idea behind it, often those movies and the plots and the psychological twistings in the stories are written by psychologists and psychiatrists and those shows are put on strategically to manipulate the minds of the viewer yes soap operas were very damaging soap operas yes our teachers taught us about all this stuff when i was in school yes they did there was a few teachers that stuck their necks out to teach us something valuable to the to, to the United States as the people that intended the United States to be what it is. You remember, it's freedom of and freedom from religion, but the media circus is constantly inundating you with the religious crap from around the world. 
Your job is just at home. Preserve your bloodline. Take care of your family. What you have in wealth, you're leaving behind to ensure your bloodline in the future. <laughs> that's the part they want you to forget about. Yes, that's why it's important to defend your country from tyranny. And the tyranny is right here behind the TV. The TV ratings. It's all about the TV ratings. Every bit of it is what I'm saying is true. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to beg anybody to see it. I'm not going to beg them. Well, I am begging them, yes, but I'm not going to continue to beg them.
Don't ignore the message, though the messenger is imperfect. Yes. What we got out there now, I hope it's some more of my friends and supporters and some of the big fat pocket. Oliver Polk, glad to see you on board. Get the memo, get with the program if you want to save your family. Yes. Yes, it's just like the Wicked Witch of the West, yeah, watching us in a crystal ball right now. Everybody, especially us disruptors, and that's me. I'm sending out a beacon digitally every time I go on the air with my rhetoric. Yeah, and if you don't like my rhetoric, it's because you're sleeping, and you're hypnotized, and you're one of the people that I'm trying to avenge. That's right, avenge. Now... Yeah. I've got important stuff to do, I've done important stuff here. I'll be back to raise hell in a little bit. I see my cabin girl out there, Lauren. Now I have to stay because my cabin girl's reporting for duty. Lauren, I hope you're well. I've seen you been in and out of the doctor lately. What's going on with you, dear? You missed my magical performance. That's okay, I'll do another magical performance. Maybe I'll do it with uh, Rosie this time. Should I just start playing, Rosie? Maybe I should. Maybe I will. I'm raising hell and changing the world. I'm changing the future. Every time I come, oh yeah, I got my Captain America outfit on. The whole damn thing. That's right. Kicking ass and taking names. So far the list is growing. Yes, it is. Now I need some people behind me with brains that can help. I've already left a trail, a breadcrumb trail. You had brown credits that turned into pneumonia. It took all your antibiotics. You should be feeling better. Yeah, well, let me know if you need any special wieners. They always make me feel better. Yeah, they've been playing head games with us for years and years. Yep, scientists and head shrinkers and doctors of education, they're all in on it. Every time you do a survey, spread the word. Stop filling out surveys for anything except for how they're treating you when they serve you. Yeah, how was my service? You didn't bring me any fucking water or coffee. When I walk in a restaurant, you better come with a coffee pot. You know who I am. Why am I asking for coffee? You want a tip or not? Don't fill out a survey. Don't tell anybody what church you go to. Don't tell them what color you like. Stop buying stuff online. Everything. They're targeting you to strip you of your cash. You're like a bush out in the, in the forest with a bunch of berries on it. And they're not leaving any for the birds or the bear, which is why it keeps coming over to kick your trash can over. Yes, you're nothing but a berry bush being stripped of your berries all the time. None for you and none left for seed which is your children. They're preying on the children. I've got evidence of that. Go back to the opening of the envelope. This is very serious. Very serious. Very, very serious. I'm outraged. Absolutely outraged. That anybody that reads the Fair Ratings Act and the bill that they tried going through back in 2005. You read that, that says everything you need to know. Yeah. Yes, it does. It says everything you need to know. If you got any questions, ask me.
trying to steal our country from us and give it all to freaking China. On the wall, my new additions. Um, let me see, what do I got? Oh, my new additions are supposed to be... Um, the new edition... Damn, I thought I ruined it. The new edition actually is a big announcement I've been trying to make in our group. We have two very, very important new members that are here in my geographic location. They're essentially my neighbors. So I have two young people with minds that are activated. And they are at my feet with everything I've got. And this is Tim's base. Uh, it's an Ibanez. I've been, uh, I'm going to be giving him lessons. And this is his amp he's got. So, and then, of course, I got the, so, but uh, that's the only real new addition thing. Um, so I'm working on some very important things. And I've got them doing research and contacting people. I've already gotten hooked up with a very important connection. Tim turned me on to a guy um, that's a, also essentially another neighbor of mine that's a tacky. He's a big tacky, so he can help me button up some. I, I could see it in the cards. 
he can help me button up some loose ends here at the ship with getting some of the wiring configured for to better my communications efforts and to improve uh for to improve so i'm trying to to make some improvements to the ship it's very crucial so um, i'm working on things i'm still looking for illustrator for two children's stories um if anybody out there's interested there's a great opportunity there for somebody <clears throat> i want to share the opportunities with people i don't want to hog them for myself yes i can make the drawings myself but i would like other people involved in it because for one thing it doubles the opportunity it doubles the chances of getting it out there and, it, and getting it out there faster and you know i tell two friends he tells two friends they tell two friends i my you know it grows it's all it's all part of a spreading the message like a plague yes so i'm very happy i'm i'm very happy with the things i've been creating musically the songs that have been coming out of me i'm happy with the way they're sounding i like the positive energy feel of it i don't want to add more bad sounds out there that are disturbing people's lives it's too much of that there's too many songs out there with too many lyrics too many lyrics that shouldn't have been said in the first place all that stuff is garbage and it's all designed by corporate america that stuff's fostered out there to manipulate our minds and alter our brains to alter our minds just like they warned everybody about drugs well drugs is what they gave all the people that weren't cooperating with corporate tactics at moving their products Yes, and that's where the idea of racism developed because all the stuff that the Dutch publishing company publishes is targeted at English-speaking people. English-speaking people. And they found through their surveys and their studies that the quote-unquote black population isn't cooperating with their sales methods and techniques or the laws and rebelling all the offerings of the quote-unquote white man, for instance, and so they're a little they're they're harder to get money out of, which is why the politics that's the politics behind dumping the drugs in the streets. It's all to squeeze money out of people. It's all to squeeze money out of people. This is a big nasty beast we're going after. It's truly this is truly is the beast that everybody was being warned about. Yes, this is it. Mad Zach is willing to fight it, but I've got to have the support of people that believe in it and that see the proof and that stand behind me. I'm not asking you for money, but I am seeking somebody powerful out there to assist that does have some money. Well, I'm very serious. I try not to talk too much politics and stuff because I have fans out there that really love the music part of what I do. And the thing is, is I, I, claim, I claim to be a modern-day Pod Piper. I'm seeing it, and that's what I'm supposed to be doing. That's not what I want to do, but I liken it to that. And I did play the pipe in the Pod Piper play one time. But truly, this is truly, you know, and, and, and Michael McConaughey said that there's a lot of rats. Somebody told me there's a lot of rats in politics. Well, you know, the Pied Piper did was he drove all the rats away to save the children. And somebody has to come in and save the children. And we're all children and we're all victims. We've all been become victims. So we can't look at ourselves as victims like poor us. We have to take what we've learned and make that make, use that to make us stronger. It's now part of our foundation, whether we like it or not. And the problem is, is through the conditioning of the ideas, the ideologies offered into public through the television shows, like the Sanford and Sons show, for instance. Great show. I loved Sanford and Sons and Red Fox. But he was used as a weapon. Our music these days is used as a weapon. A lot of the music technology that they've been coming out with, the stomp effects and the synthesizers and all that stuff, it's all different vibrations that alter your brain. This is hardcore, deep psychology stuff I'm talking about, and it's beyond my education, To, but the greater part. I know a little bit. I know enough to know there's a problem, okay? I know enough to know there's a problem. I'm not a very smart guy. But I am smarter than everybody around me, and I'm looking for the smartest guy in the room. If you're the smartest guy in the room, you need to find a different room. 
and, and get to where you're not the smartest guy. I'm looking for my intellectual superiors. I'm looking for my Socrates. I'm looking for my Plato. I'm looking for my Copernicus. I'm looking for my... I'm looking for all those great people, and they're not out there today because everybody's hypnotized, and the people that are those people are being bullied by the mentality that's taking over the general population, and they're not coming forward with their great gifts that they have, like I have been demonstrating. It says in the Bible, do not bury your talents, okay? I am out here throwing my talents into the wind for anybody and everybody. Yes, I want to be discovered for something I have. Yes, you know, but I have very simple goals. All I want to do in life literally is buy back the family farm and put my family back together. And isn't that essentially what every single one of us are trying to do? We need to find a way to, to, to destroy the divisions that have been fostered out there to stimulate corporate revenue, corporate profit, there has to be a balance because, yes, our military is built off of a lot of that revenue. Our government operates off a lot of that revenue. So there has to, things have to be corrected. Capitalism can be good. Capitalism can be bad. Capitalism needs some rules. And Mad Zach is here for a reason on this planet, and I'm trying to find what it is. And I think I found the most, the biggest, nastiest job I could take on. This is even worse than trying to clean the oceans, which every prison inmate out there ought to be on a boat picking up trash in the ocean. Yeah, earn your three hots and a cot. Get out there on a boat, or you can get back there in a cement block wall. Which would you pick, Brooklyn? I sure as hell be on that freaking boat in a heartbeat. Matter of fact, if I was locked up right now, I'd be <laughs> writing a campaign, borderline riotous, getting a whole damn prison to put in for boat duty, picking up trash. Anything beats sitting in a freaking stinky cement block cell, watching your bunkmate jerk off. All right, I said enough. That's why I'm the captain, Brooklyn, okay? Not because I want to be, because somebody has to somebody has to step up with whatever authority they can muster and figure out how to communicate to people. It is sad, Lauren. It's absolutely dis it's it's a I'll tell you what, God must be crying. Certainly. Must be crying. I went to the Florida Keys. Florida Keys had some pictures with big piles of sponge that they harvested, for instance, to sell to tourists. You know, tourism was a big thing to generate revenue. Yeah. Oh, big scandal. Yeah, scandal. Tourism was a scandal. Oh, they, they stripped all of the ocean life out of all the beaches. And it's against the law to eat the conch. Why would you want to eat the conch, first of all? It eats all the debris and dirt and crap. Why would you take the sponge out? The sponge cleans the water. There's a balance. All that stuff is they're raping the ocean. They raped the ocean to the point where the ocean has no more. They're, everybody's scared. Corporate, up and corporate, they know what the truth is. Why do you think Chinese fishing vessels are all edging up onto the Galapagos Islands? They're trying to reap all that bounty. And China's way overpopulated. And here America is the biggest, most wasteful nation in the world because corporate America convinced us that leftovers were bad. Throw that away. They're convincing us to throw our food away. They're making us buy stuff so, you know, ten. it's all a scandal. I've said enough. Anyway, I'm so happy to have you guys out there. Brooklyn, it's great to see you. Um, my direct messages are always open to my fans and people that participate in my show. I'm an open book and an open door policy for my friends and fans and anybody really. Don't waste my time selling me sex sites and stuff. I got lots of lovers and I got my cabin girl Lauren Shea out there. So, you know, yeah, don't ever hesitate to come to me when you need some support. That's why I'm here. And I never beat you guys down for money. Everybody has to remember that. All right, you guys. Peace, love, I'm daring to care. You know you found something special when you came to visit me. And I hope I never lose any of you guys. Much love. Onward, onward. Batten down your hatches.